Straight away, I'll go through the away team for you. We're lining up at fullback, wearing one, Alan Tate. Wing wearing two is Jim Fallon. Centres for Leeds tonight, wearing three, Kevin Iro and four, Craig Guinness. Opposite wing wearing five is Simon Irving. Half backs tonight for the Leeds club are Gary Schofield and Andy Gregory. Front row comprising of Steve Malloy, James Lowes and Mike O'Neill. Second row is Paul Dixon and Gary Mercer. Loose forward is Ellery Hanley and the two substitutes tonight for the Loiners are Gareth Stevenson and Paul Anderson. With that, straight into the home team, Brian Johnson's wires. Lining up at fullback Lee Penny. Winger is Chris Rudd. Centres Alan Bateman and Tony Thornley. Opposite wing is Mark Foster. Halfbacks for the wire, Kevin Ellis and Greg Mackey. Front row comprises of Gary Tees, Dwayne Mann and Neil Harmon. Second row for the wires tonight are Gary Sanderson and Paul Cullen. Loose forward for the wire, Kelly Shelford, and substitutes are Paul Derbyshire and Bob Jackson. Tonight's referee is Mr Dave Atkin, and tonight's game is a Stones Bitter Championship game. Well, here we are, everybody, Wilderspill Stadium. Straight away, let me get into the uh, mascot details. Thanks very much tonight for 10 years old Christopher Meller for coming to Wilderspill. Christopher is a pupil at St Andrew's School. Hobbies, of course, rugby league. Christopher, in fact, plays for Laporte Diamonds. He likes soccer as well. No harm in that. Christopher's favourite player here at Wildersfield Stadium is Ozzy Scrum R. Greg Mackey, thanks for coming down, Chris. All the players have been talking about you. They've enjoyed meeting you. I personally hope you've had a very good day and I hope you enjoy the match that's going to unfold on your screens for you here at Wildersfield. Now, just sitting away to my right, I've in fact got with me our in house uh, Headingley expert, rugby league commentator and part time rugby league writer Stuart Duppy. So, straight away, I'm going to pass the microphone over to Stuart, who can uh, warm it up as to the personalities who are going to entertain you on the Leeds team tonight. Well, Leeds coming here on the back of three successive wins, but still not winning away from home. Hopefully, from the Leeds point of view, that'll be this evening. And uh, I think you look out for a big game tonight from Andy Gregory. Who's coming back to one of his old clubs? In fact, there's three former Warrington players in the lead team tonight. Steve Malloy and Gary Mercer, the others. But I think Andy Gregory really fired up. He missed the game with an injury, especially says he's fit. And watch also for Alan Tate, who's having a tremendous season coming into the line. Ellery Hanley scored 18 tries this season. So he's in fine form and always likes to perform well on a big occasion in front of the Sky Television. Well, thanks to Stuart there. He's uh, outlined some of the big personalities in the Leeds team fire. Big names, big personalities, big fees. It's all of a sudden starting to pay off for the Leeds club, of course. Meanwhile, looking at the wires, who were at home at Wilderspill tonight, Brian Johnson's men, been having a struggle, turn that round at Central Park on Tuesday night. What a glorious evening that was. However, that is history. We're starting again tonight with the Leeds club. As you can see, the mascot there with the... Uh, Two club captains tonight, Dwayne Mann wearing nine for the Wires and Ellery Hanley wearing 13 for the visitors from across the Pennines. Referee Dave Atkin from Hull completed the preliminaries. There's Christopher Meller jogging up, gets his 10 bob off the referee. Good luck to him. Not sure why the Loyaners are called the Loyaners. Hope they don't run around pointing the loins at everybody. However, we're nearly ready to go. Big vocals coming in away from our left from the uh, loyal travelling Leeds Army. The tendency is always healthy at Eddingley, of course. Their team starting away on the turn up. 80 minutes of Stones, bits of crunch then coming up for you on this Stones, on this uh, Micron video. I'm just getting ready to start my stopwatch. Everything's squared, everything to play for. Leeds haven't won away from Eddingley so far this season. Here we go then, we're underway. Ball goes deep. Into the Warrington quarter, it's with Greg Mackey, feeds on, big tackle comes in there from Simon Irving wearing five. Ex-England B Rugby Union International, there's Neil Harmon wearing eight. Met in the tackle by James Lowe's, ex-Hunslet. There's Mann, there's Gary Tees. Big vocals still coming in from the uh, travelling Yorkshireman, here's Greg Mackey. Looks at Paul Cullen, keeps all, Dwayne Mann runs round. Switch move there. Mackey did not, in fact, release the ball. Fool me. Game goes on. There's Sanderson. There's Tease. Super move work there. Tony Thornley is tackled in possession by number three, Kevin Idol. Tess Kiwi playing for Leeds. There's a kick. Shelford under pressure. Ball bounces into touch. Will give us our first scrum of the evening with the advantage to the Leeds club. I'll turn to Stuart Duffer. Leeds have been uh, battering everyone at Eddingley, Stuart. They must be doing away win soon. Yes, we haven't won it all this season, Bill, away from home. And uh, hopefully tonight will be the night as far as he's concerned. Going on the side with a lot of confidence come here tonight. 
They've been playing really well at home. In fact, they've scored 40 points in the last four league matches at Edinley. Well, there's not a lot you can say to that. 40 points a game, however. Andy Gregory feeds. Superstar scrum half. Scrum's goal one to nil to the visitors. What he set up on defence. Leeds moving the ball well. Soon as I say that, ball goes to ground. Jim Fallon tidying up on the far touchline from us. Once again, we've been evicted from our gantry by uh, Sky TV. However, Leeds in possession then. We're going to have to build from deep. Warrington coming up in possession there. It's Welshman Alan Bateman, ex Neath RU player. Warrington then, set of five tackles to go now on the quarter line. It's Greg Mackey. Leads up quickly on defence. Gary Schofield on the tackle. Schofield, Great Britain's captain, of course. There's Tease wearing 10. Ball's going right. It's with Greg Mackey. It's with Chris Rudd. Cuts back inside, tackled immediately by Craig Innes, wearing four for the Loiners. Innes X All Black, wanting to attack in Central again. Energy sapping win for the Wires at uh, Central Park in midweek. Now history, there's Mackey, throws a long ball. Winger takes hold, it's with Mark Foster. Super pass from Mackey there, Foster did well to take the ball. There's a little grubber kick put through. Ref, match official Dave Atkin on the job. Rules offside, looks fair enough to me from this position. Big vocals once again, still coming in from the Leeds supporters. I was knocking about Warrington Town Centre at tea time and Leeds fans were arriving then. Super kick there, picks up 45 metres. So that's the first penalty of the night going to the Leeds club there. Meanwhile, tackle breaks out in front of us as Andy Gregory feeds on. Big defence coming in from Warrington there. Paul Cullen involved in the tackle with Kelly Shelford. Ball's coming our way. Good passing there from the Leeds outfit. Ends up with Simon Irving tackled. 21 metres from the Warrington line. Plays the ball. It's uh, James Lowe's feeds on. Gary Mercer tackle. That's why a player, of course. There's uh, Schofield. Big danger when he's in possession. Gap opens up, and Craig Innes goes in for a try. After less than four minutes, well, big gap opened up there. Innes was straight through it. Gives us a score, four points to nil, in favour of the visitors. I will pass the microphone over to Stuart Duffy to sum the move up player. Well, Leeds took the option of the short side there with Gary Schofield. He drew the man lovely there, and Craig Innes, enough pace and enough strength to force his way over in the tackle. Well, that's a good start from Leeds and a good move there from after the penalty. They brought the ball sort of 50 yards up the middle of the field and then whipped it out to the wing here. And uh, Craig Innes just having the legs and the strength to go over. Puss goes round the Bevin stand as he approaches the ball. Super kick. No worries. Six points to nil to Leeds then. Perfect start for Leeds then, Stuart. Yes, just what the doctor had ordered. Uh, I say Leeds have struggled this season away from home. And uh, I'll just put a little confidence in the side. The confidence certainly been flowing at home. As I say, we've uh, put 40 points up the opposition in the last 40, 40 feet. So I'm sure you'll uh, see a good performance from Leeds this evening, Bill. Well, there we go then. Points are finding themselves six points down after four minutes. Big tackle on Ellery Hanley. 10 metres out, central in front of his own post. Ball's fed on to Leeds' his right side. Warrington on defence. Ball's far side of the field from us. There's Gregory, feeds on. Leeds have an overlap again on this side. There's Iro flying, makes the half. Eventually goes down under the Dwayne Mantackle. There's Hanley in possession again. Hanley making inroads central, finally goes down, tackled at half. It's kick time for the visitors. Gregory supplies the kick. Kicks at the corner flag, too strong, the ball will roll dead. So it's been a 99 mile an hour start, already had a try. Six minutes played, six points to nil for the visitors. Warrington restarting from the quarter.
So Dwayne Mann's at half-back. Here's Neil Harmon. Mercer in the tackle. Mike O'Neill in the tackle. Harmon plays the ball. It's with Greg Mackey. Feeds on for Ellis. Super passing move. Cullen hands on. Ball breaks the halfway line then. Bit of attacking flair from the home team, the wire. There's Kelly Shelford. Jenkins Central, suspiciously high tackle. Ball's played. It's with Mackey. Mackey's kicking for position. Chris runs away. Everybody's on the feet. I can't see anything except people. However, the ball rolled harmlessly into touch. Will give us a scrum down with advantage to the uh, Yorkshiremen. Dave Atkin on top of the job, instructing the forwards how he wants them to uh, behave in this scrum. Gregory feeds, ball comes straight out again. Dave Atkin unhappy, we will have a replay of that scrum. Important tonight for either team's forwards to establish the upper hand. Dave Atkin doesn't look too happy with proceedings from here. Having strong words with the forwards. Pushing them in field, they require 10 metres. There's his second scrum of the night to the Leeds club. Big tackle around the back of the scrum, gets a chair from the Fletcher Enders. Meanwhile, ball's midfield, it's Gary Mercer. Ball being kept alive well. Gang tackle breaks out upon Kevin Idol. That won't bother him. Game's going on. Waddington's starting to get to terms with the defensive duties then. Score remains six points to nil. Big run midfield, big tackle supplied. Leeds have personnel set deep to their left. Gregory feeds on. Super ball is released there. Gang tackle breaking out from the Waddington defence. This time Leeds move the ball right. It's Andy Gregory. Spiralling kick. Not a bad kick, but it's just going to roll out. Of, yeah, super kick. Just rolls out of play this side of the uh, touch flag there. Is that a feature of the Leeds game at all, Stuart? Yes, a kicking game of uh, Gary Schofield and Andy Gregory. And Leeds, usually that, I think that not really intended to be a touch-finding kick. Leeds tend to kick to the corners, Bill, and try and tackle the players in position down there while they've got the forwards out from the pack. Well, of course, he couldn't have asked for a better kick than that. Slide wheel job from Andy Gregory, ex Warrington player. Results in a scrum. Greg Mackey will feed for the home team. Does so. Scrum to the wire. Darting run from uh, the back of the scrum there from Chris Rudd, back in the team. After a head injury at Hulk KR, meanwhile, Lee Penny bursts onto an excellent Gary Sanderson pass. Game's going on then. Ball has gone to ground. Matt Foster tidying up at the back. Tony Thornley driving for yards midfield. 12 metres within the uh, Warrington half then. That's Kelly Shelford. Darts in midfield, it's Neil Harmon, that guy can go. Harmon turns, look for support, finds it. It's Kelly Shelford, superb rugby league there. Waddington releasing the ball in a tackle. Here's Greg Mackey, it's kick time. I think Mackey's got underneath that one. Once again, the crowd's on the feet, I can see nothing. However, ball went out in goal. Will be a restart for Leeds at the quarter line. So exciting stuff being played here at Wildersville. Ten minutes played, could have had tries at both ends. Well, it's an undefense then. There's Steve Malloy. It's Mercer. Big tackle, Gary Sanderson for the wire. Score remains six points to nil. Ball's on the far side of the field from us. Bit of a juggling act there. Will result in a scrum down advantage to Warrington. Perfect conditions for rugby league tonight, Stuart. Uh, hopefully we might see some end-to-end -end stuff and some uh, super tries from some of these international centres we've got on show. Yes, sir. Wire have looked after the pitch very well there. It's very firm underneath and ideal for rugby league football and two class centres on each side, Bill. We're talking about the pitch, Stuart. It's not been played on for ages. There's Warrington moving the ball again. I think a facet of tonight's game will be the speedsters once the forwards have settled down. There's Paul Cullen. Charging central, dragging defenders with him. Waddington have got the subs warming up already. It's Greg Mackey in possession. Super ball thrown, run around move his works. Big tackle breaks out. Waddington going close again. There's a try by the wire. Or is it? Dave Atkin on the job, rules it out. Quick passes thrown, leads come up in possession. 
cover defence called for and supplied. Neil Harmon on the tackle. Leads then, throwing the ball about with Gay Abandon. It's Gary Schofield, throws out for Irving. Irving takes on Rudd, Rudd's up to the job. Super tackle, Chris Rudd, leads in possession. Pressing for the halfway line, that's Craig Innes. Hammered in the tackle, Warrington had possession. In the shape of Paul Cullen. Cullen playing the ball for Dwayne Mann. There's Mackey. There's Thornley, running central, looking for support. Tackle round the head. Match officials on the job, letting the game flow. There's Alan Bateman, outstanding at Central Park in midweek. Big vocals coming in for the home team then. Exciting stuff, it's Greg Mackey. Delays a ball, releases. Wingman goes in for the super try. Mark Foster has crossed. Such judge has raised his flag, hold that heart attack. Waddington going close there, Stuart. There's some superb long balls out by Greg Mackey. He really is the master passer of that long ball. Switching the direction of play to the short side. And look at him, Mark Foster just catching the corner flag. Thanks, Stuart. We've already highlighted the centres, but we've got some class halfbacks on show here tonight. Whenever you look on the field, you've got internationals, so don't move away from your screen. Super game on. Score remains six points to nil. Here's Andy Gregory. Gregory looking for the option, finds one, releases. James Lowes releases. Simon Irving's available on the wing. Warrington defence is coming under big pressure from Craig Innes. He unloads for Gary Schofield. Well, there's not a lot you can say about a try like that. Excellent rugby league, super skills from Leeds. I'll pass across once again to Stewart to describe the try for you. A lovely skill there from Craig Innes. Beat the man there. Too much strength for the man. The ball was moved away really well in the tackle from Andy Gregory. James Law, Steve Malloy got Innes away. Innes broke the tackle, drew the fullback perfectly, gave it Gary Schofield in support as ever, and scored about 10 yards from the post bill. A class try from Leeds, and a class try from two class players involved. Well, there we have it. We've been highlighting forwards and backs. You've just seen them in operation. Well, I wouldn't expect Simon Irving to miss this uh, conversion attempt. Score reading presently. 13 minutes played, 10 points to nil. It's starting to look ominous for the home team, the wire. Leads electric pace around the base of the scrums in the three quarters on the wings. Meanwhile, you can expect Irving to convert, make the score 12 points to nil. Irving approaches the ball. No worries, 14th minute, 12 points to nil. Well, there's a restart, score reading, 15 minutes played, 12 nil. Ball is kicked deep, as usual, into the Leeds quarter. There's Kevin Ellis tackling. Leeds keeping the ball inside, it's with Paul Dixon, another Great Britain international. Leeds ducking and diving, keeping the ball tied in for the moment. Sanderson on the tackle. Assisted by Cullen. There's Andy Gregory. There's a super run. Gary Tease completes the tackle. 12 points in the game at the moment, two full scores. That's Ellery Hanley, Andy Gregory, what a combination. There's a difficult ball for Chris Rudd. Let's the ball go into touch safely without touching the ball, not giving away the advantage. We'll give us a scrum down right in front of our commentary position in the Brian Bevin stand. Greg Mackey will feed for the wire. Leeds fans, delirious, of course, away to my left. <laughs> Looking for their first away win in the season. Scrum to the wire there. Greg Mackey in possession, feeds Ellis. Ellis releases for Tony Thornley. Thornley drags two defenders with him, finally goes down. That's to a man at half-back. High tackle on Gary Sanderson. Match official on the job, letting the game go. It's Shelford, it's Alan Bateman, super tackle upon Bateman from Paul Dixon, we're in 11. There's Greg Mackey in midfield, unloads for Gary Tees. Tees sees half a gap, he's almost away. Ball's eight metres inside the lead half, here's Greg Mackey. Switches, it's Dwayne Mann, it's Neil Harmon, it's connection Gary Tees. There's Shelford, there's Harmon, Alan Bateman's lost possession. 
Bateman losing possession there, Paul Dixon cleaning up. So it's possession for Leeds then, in the shape of Alan Tate wearing one. Tate ex-witness, one of the few Scotsmen in the Rugby League. Meanwhile, far side of the pitch from us, Leeds are at it again. Leeds player is in touch. Touch judge raises his flag, we'll have another scrum down, advantage to Warrington. Many supporters have travelled over from uh, Edingley tonight, Stuart. Yes, some great away support for Leeds. have had it all season, even in the defeats. So we haven't won all season. The support's never wavered. We've had three and four, five coaches every match we've played, Bill. It's tremendous support. Well, that's the foundation of successful clubs, of course. Support home and away. Meanwhile, Warrington in possession of midfield. Ellis tackled. There's Dwayne Mann. There's Mackey. There's Paul Cullen. Cullen put away by Kevin Iro. Dwayne Mann. Greg, Kevin Ellis. Ellis delays a super ball for Tony Thornley. Eighteen minutes played now. Score remains White Warrington nil leads twelve. Ball's coming our way. There's Greg Mackey looking for Shelford. Releases a kick. Chris Rudd has got a chance. Simon Irving does the same thing. Puts the ball dead. Another well, attacking option there, unveiled from Greg Mackey. Chris Rudd was flying. However, Leeds will get the restart at the quarter. There's Gary Mercer, next Warrington player, of course. Dwayne Mann on the tackle. Dave Atkin pulls the Warrington defence back, the required 10. There's Gregory. Leeds moving the ball our way, Andy Gregory. Inside runner appears to be Craig Innes. Nice passing move work there. That's James Lowe's feeding on. Ball finds its way through Schofield. Leeds have got men over again on the far side. It's Tate up in the line. Leeds still going. Ball's at the quarter line. Warrington's defence is across. Leeds looking marvellous when in possession then. There's Hanley. It's Schofield. Switch his play. That was Mike O'Neill with the kick through. Ball is finally kicked into touch by Mark Forster. So it's all leads at this point. 12 points to the good. So you can expect this scrum then to go to the uh, visitors from across the Pennines. Does so. There's uh, Schofield, there's Iro, Schofield again, times the ball to perfection, Simon Irving's overrun it, Irving is in possession, Lee Penny's on the chase, Penny puts Irving away, Alan Tate acting half, feeds Gary Mercer, Mercer tackle well, one metre in, two metres inside the quarter, there's Schofield, unleashes a long ball, Moving the ball well again, it's Kevin Iroh straightening up, he's got his head back. Ten metres out from the Warrington line, Leeds threatening once again. There's Gary Schofield, there's Andy Gregory. Gregory throws for Mercer, balls with Innes. Innes dragged down eight metres from the Warrington line. Schofield, Gregory Schofield, excellent handling there. Superb tackle, copybook tackle Gary Tees. There's Andy Gregory, there's a chancy ball throw. Ball was touched by a Warrington player, Leeds have a set of six once again. Ten metres out from the Warrington line, full set of tackles to go. Scores 12-0. Shouts for a forward pass around me, match official is on the job. Ball was thrown anywhere on that occasion. Lee Penny attempts the tackle. Job is completed by Dwayne Mann. Ball's coming our way, Andy Gregory, Ellery Hanley. Hanley's gone, Hanley is across. There's a glass of Ellery Hanley. He showed half a dummy, kept hold of the ball. Defence opened up, Hanley was away. Well, Stuart Duff is going to be getting tired if I keep giving him the microphone to describe tries this often. Over to you, Stuart. No, I'll never get tired of um, showing you what Leeds can do on the field. 
That's tremendous try there. Larry Hanley, the ball. Gary Mercer was actually signalling there for a high ball, and I don't know whether that caught the wire defence, but looking for the run around, Hanley with Andy Gregory, and Hanley just to go for his own, striding through a gap. He could have got the Leeds coach through there, Bill. Um, and just a little teaser for you while we're here, and that was a clue. Can you tell me the Warrington player tonight? Who's the next Leeds player? Well, there's a question and a half. It's probably Gary Tease. Could commentators correct for a change from the Guardian. However, that will result in Simon Irving having the simplest of his co conversions at this point. 16 points to nil in favour of the visitors now. Shortly go 18 points to nil. Irving successful, so there you have it. In the uh, 22nd minute, score now reads Warrington nil, leads 18. Well, as we get the restart then, Bob Jackson has come onto the uh, playing area for the Warrington Club. Jackson, of course, been out with injury. Not sure who went off. And anyhow, that leaves us with Jackson on the park, wearing 15. Bob Jackson, that's Cronulla and Penrith. Bit of a mix-up there after the restart. Leeds player must have touched the ball as it crossed the uh, dead ball line. We'll give a drop out under the post. Seven minutes to half time. Warrington would... Uh, Welcome a converted try before the Hooter goes. Here's Lee Penny. Penny tackled immediately by Craig Innes, ex All Black. There's Gary Sanderson. Well tackled. Dwayne Mann acting half. There's Kelly Shelford. At least it's Tony Thardley. Thardley running across the Leeds cover. Tackled round the head. No infringement. Our match officials letting the game flow. There's Greg Mackey. Neil Harmon. Big hit in the tackle there from Paul Dixon. Harmon plays the ball. Here's Mackey. Here's Ellis. Here's Shelford. Shelford spots half a gap. He's well tackled. It's kick time then. Last tackle. Here's Greg Mackey. Puts a grubber through. Touches a Leeds player. Will be a set of six. Lee Penny takes possession. Leaves his marker for dead. Well, I'm afraid our match official there is quite clearly wrong. However, we can uh, forgive him the odd mistake. Leeds in possession then. Bob Jackson gets involved in the tackle. There's Gregory. Warrington once again on defence. Tackle breaks out at the quarter line. It's Andy Gregory. It's Gary Mercer. Mercer tackled by Bateman. And Kevin Ellis. Simon Irving throws inside for Andy Gregory. There's Gary Schofield, Great Britain captain. Percentage game being used this early in the uh, first half. Lee Penny ambling across. Watches the ball go out of play. Will give us a scrum down. Advantage to the wire. Just bring Stuart Duffy in again, our in-house Leeds expert. Whenever Warrington are pressing, uh, Stuart, you've got Gregory and Schofield there to put the ball 75 metres away. Yes, two of the best tactical kickers in the game, Andy Gregory and Gary Schofield. And uh, pinpoint accuracy with the kicks there, straight into touch, takes the pressure off the forwards, gives everybody a rest, and leads back down here. Warrington have got, like you say, 75 yards to go back on that line. Well, thanks for those words, Stuart. Warrington taking possession from the scrum then. 18 points behind. 25 minutes played. Lee Penny attacks the quarter and breaks it. Dwayne Mann acting half. Warrington with personnel left and right. It's Paul Cullen. Cullen tackled by Iroh and Hanley. Plays the ball. It's Greg Mackey. It's Kevin Ellis. Releases Kelly Shelford. Breaks the half. Super passing move there. Well, the ball's coughed up in the tackle. Big shouts for offside. I would like to be the match official. Dave Atkin is, and this is what he's giving. Warrington player looks to be uh, having a little sleep there. Somebody's taking a bang on the head, not sure who it is. Warrington there, got the uh, 
loose forward in the centres, involved in a passing move, promising attack was building up. Somebody took a knock in the tackle, can't quite see who it is. We've got a blood bin to a Leeds player, we've played 26 minutes. Leeds player appears, appears to be losing motion, lotion. Coming underneath us for attention. Paul Anderson is coming onto the part wearing 15, under 21 international. I believe he is replacing Kevin Iro. Iro in the blood bin then. Andy Gregory just jogs across, makes sure that everything's okay. Still not sure who the Warrington player is with the injury. Must have been Tony Thornley. Thanks to my colleague there, away to my left. So lengthy hold up then for the attention to Tony Thornley. Once again, recap, we've had tries this far in from Innes after four minutes, Schofield after 13 minutes, and Anley after 21 minutes. Three Simon Irving penalties, uh, convergence correction. It was an 18 points to nil score line for the Loiners from across the Pennines, Doug Larton's men. Well, we've got a break in play, thanks to club sponsors Greenalls, associate sponsors Manweb Limited, and matchball sponsors Howarth's of Arford Lane for enabling top-class rugby league to take place here at Wilderspool Stadium. Scrum forms then. Advantage to the visitors. Scrum's wheel round. Ball finally goes in. Scrum to the visitors. Scrum count 5-4 for the home team. Leeds moving the ball sharply. There's a big run again. Super tackle from Lee Penner. Brilliant tackle from him. Mike O'Neill was moving. So it's Schofield. First touch there for Paul Anderson, wearing 15. Ball is in the Warrington half. It's Andy Gregory. Gregory throwing dummies. Knock on committed. Will be a scrum down once again. This time the advantage will be to the home team, the Wire. Greg Mackey, ex Sydney and Hull, in his second period at Wilderspool, will feed the scrum. Scrum to the Wire then. Scrum count 6 4. Ellis releases superbly, Chris Rudd in possession, attacks the half, gets there. That's Bateman, Sanderson. Greg Mackey organising his troops. There's Alan Bateman. Tackled by Gary Mercer. Time running out in the first half now, it's Paul Cullen. 29 and a half minutes played in the first half. There's Kelly Shelford in possession, looking for the option. Finds Neil Harmon. It's kick time for the wire. Somebody's got a lift one, Warrington opting to move the ball. Ellis puts a kick into the in-goal area. It is a good kick. Leads in possession then, one metre out from their own try line. 30 minutes played now at Wilderspool. Score remains Warrington nil, leads 18. Ball is within the uh, Leeds quarter. Gregory in possession. Kicks for position. Lee Penny jogs across, keeps his eye on the ball. So it's Penny running straight at Gary Mercer. Mercer puts him away. There's Greg Mackey. Kevin Ellis. Ellis running central. Ellis checking on the Leeds defence, hammered in the tackle by Alan Tate. Warrington looking for the penalty. My apologies to Alan Tate, it was Gary Schofield. So there's a rare penalty in this uh, entertaining first half. So it looks to me as though Tony Thornley will attempt to convert the penalty into two much needed points. 31 minutes played, Gary Schofield penalised for interfering in the tackle. Would you agree with that decision, Stuart? Oh yes, definitely Gary Schofield held him down just there. But I've been very impressed with the discipline of both sides, only the second penalty, the first one going for offside over on that far corner. And that's good to see, the referees let the game go, there's been one or two sort of shoulder eye tackles but there's been no malice in them and the referee is having a great game. Well, I'll second that completely. I've been complaining about the eye tackle rule. Needs adjusting. However, we've got Tony Thornley, 31st minute, kicking into the wind at the Fletcher end. 
Hits the post. Well, let's hope that's not a sign of how things are going to go. However, score remains. Wanting to nil leads 18. There's a drop out from the quarter line. It's Paul Cullen in possession. Sets off central. Releases a super ball for Rudd. Chris Rudd in possession. He's got Bateman outside him. He's put away by Mike O'Neill wearing 11. There's an anywhere ball. Dwayne Mann works the miracle. Alan Bateman feeds Lee Penner. Penny must release. Looking at Ellery Hanley. Takes the tackle from Andy Gregory. Andy Gregory working some defence there. Meanwhile, it's Tony Thornley, midfield, four metres short of the half. Seven minutes from half-time, 18 points of difference. There's Greg Mackey. Feeds Harmon, feeds Bateman, feeds Chris Rudd. Rudd stays in field. Excellent passing move there, good run from Chris Rudd. Mackey, half-back. Kevin Ellis forgets the ball. Dave Atkin blows up. Fair decision there from the match official. Gives us another scrum down with advantage to the Leeds club. <laughs> scrum to Leeds there. Tackle breaks out midfield. There's Schofield in possession. Schofield refusing to be tackled. Finally is. All quiet here now at Wilderspool Wilder Stadium, which of course suits the visitors. There's Ellery Anley. Rugby League's most expensive uh, sign-in. Quarter of a million quid he cost the Loiners. There's Schofield, Gregory. Super ball thrown for Mercer. Mercer commits the knock-on. We'll have yet another scrum down, this time an advantage to the wire. Anderson on the tackle wearing 15. That's Greg Mackey. Kevin Ellis. Leads up quickly on defence. Big tackle there. Warrington losing seven, eight metres from the play the ball. Thornley playing the ball. There's Mark Forster. Ex Wollstone amateur. Tackle three metres inside the visitors' half. That's Kevin Ellis. That's Kelly Shelford. Kelly Shelford unloads. Possession goes to the visitors. Warrington doing the best to keep the uh, move going. Big credit there to the touch judge on this near side. I don't know who he is, but he attracted the referee's intention and informed him of the knock-on. Advantage will be to the wire. Knock-on committed by the Leeds player. Not sure who it was. It, uh, my colleague Stuart Duffy informs me it was Andy Gregory. Many thanks to him. So Mackey feeds. Clean scrum. Ball comes out for Kevin Ellis, sets off central. Well tackled by Gary Schofield. That's Dwayne Mann, that's Paul Cullen. Cullen tackled by Gary Mercer. Steve Malloy on the tackle there, next Warrington. Very nice on the tackle. Shelford, that's Neil Harmon. Warrington starting to look zippy, extra out of pace coming into their play. Ball's gone short side, that's Bob Jackson. And Jackson goes in for a well-earned try. Jackson there, took a short ball, showed what uh, upper body strength he's got. Crashed in in the 36th minute. Final that Warrington got a score before half-time. I'll hand over once again to Stuart Duffy to sum up the move for you. Yeah, again, a short ball on that sh short side there from uh, Mackey. A lovely run to set up the position by Dwayne Mann, who was uh, supposedly injured and not going to play tonight. And uh, I think Leeds were conned into that one. Dwayne Mann, one of my favourite players. I know Dougie Lawton rates him very highly. And uh, just managing to get over. Warrington got a roll on there from the scrum, but they've been pushing strongly in the last few minutes. And uh, that's fair reward for some enterprising stuff if it hasn't all come off this first half, Bill. Thanks very much, then, to my colleague from Yorkshire. Brain-achingly difficult conversion attempt, then, for Tony Thornley. Couldn't be any further away from the uh, centre of the park. He struck it well. Has drifted wide. So there we have it. 36 minutes played. Score goes Warrington 4. Leads 18.
So after the uh, 25 minutes making the mound in the ground, Gary Schofield restarts play. Super take there from Greg Mackey. There's Lee Penny, tackled. Was brought in half time now here at Wilderspool, 37 minutes played. Ball's coming inside, well there's a knock on. Referee uh, awards possession there to the visitors. There's Schofield. There's Innes. Innes is going. Big tackle upon Innes there from Alan Bateman, wearing three. Assisted by Rudd wearing two. There's Schofield. Steve Malloy tackled, three metres inside the quarter. That's Gregory, that's Hanley. Hanley feeds on for Mercer. Mackey exacting the tackle there. Schofield. That's Anderson, Paul Anderson. Ball goes to ground. There's Craig Innes. There's Mike O'Neill with the scrum cap, wearing ten. Bob Jackson involved in the tackle. Lowe's. Schofield. Gregory. Schofield. Hanley missed out. Ball intended, intended for Hanley. Warrington had the chance to break. That's Mark Forster. Forster's away. Superb try saving tackle there upon Mark Forster. Warrington looking zippy at the moment. Could do with another four points before half time. Time running out in the first half, but in the last minutes, it's Kevin Ellis. Ellis releases Bateman. Lee Penny unable to take the pass. Whistle goes. Well, in my opinion, match official Dave Atkin is correct. Just approaching 40 minutes now. We will have a scrum down. Probably see out the first half, the time it takes to get the scrum farmed. Score presently. Wire 4. Leads 18. There's another scrum to Leeds. Schofield feeds on, it's Tate, Alan Tate cropping up in the line, wearing one. Feeds his wingman far side, Jim Fallon. Fallon is going. Fallon is gone. Knock on committee. Full credit, Dave Atkin, he's on top of the job. A lot of scrum down advantage to the home team, Warrington. Well, as we're going into the, uh, we're now in injury time in the first half, I'll bring in once again Stuart Duffy to sum up the first half for you. The Leeds have uh, calmed down a bit after that initial 22-minute uh, burst, which saw them score three tries, some superb football, and they just uh, had to check a bit with Kevin Iroh going off. And it could be something here for Warrington. In fact, that's going to be a try, no doubt about that. A try there. That was a great try there. Clever kick there from Kevin Ellis at the scrum. So third kick on. I thought that the Michael Neal had done tremendously well. I was just going to say Leeds have had to check because uh, they've got Michael Neal on the wing with Kevin Ido going off to the blood bin. And uh, they paid the penalty there for having a slow man on the wing. And he did very well to get to Andy Bateman and beat Alan Bateman. And Alan Bateman got up there and managed to pass the try over in the corner. Well, you can tell me who scored now, Stuart. Everyone who jumps up round me. I don't know who scored that one. I think it might have been uh, Young Lee Penny or was it Chris Rudd? Well, we'll credit it to Chris Rudd, I believe. Well, I'd said that the scrum would see out the end of the first half. It did not. We're crediting that try to Rudd up here. If we're wrong, I apologise. Everyone was on the feet around us. However, after all the excitement, the fun and games, the game's been closed down. Score presently, really, presently reads 18-8. There's a first for you. Priceless two points if it should go over. Shelford taking his time, obviously. No thanks. He's pulled it across the face of the post. Well, well done. Highly entertaining first half here at Wildersfield Stadium. We've had tries from Jackson, Rudd, Innes, Schofield and Hanley. Five tries in 40 minutes of rugby league. Can't ask for more than that. We'll see you again for the second half. Well, 
there we are for the second half then. Ten points between the teams. Superb first half. Half-time score, Warrington 8, Leeds 18. I'll pass the microphone across to Stuart Duffy once again. Kevin Iroh's absence has made a big difference to Leeds, Stuart. Yes, Leeds having to rejig with Kevin Iroh off. He's had four stitches in a cut on his head. And he's uh, happily back on the field now. And uh, Leeds will be lucky to turn in a big second-half performance. Because Warrington are really going to come out fired up, Bill. Thanks, Stuart Duffy. Here we are. Fallon in possession, ten points between the teams. Waddington's tails up at the end of the first half. Quick score now would, uh, for the wire, would set things up nicely. However, the ball is in midfield. Bob Jackson involved in the tackle for the wire. It's Gregory, it's Hanley, it's Paul Cullen, super tackle Cullen. Anderson's on for Dixon. I'm in, in farm from my right. Thanks very much, Stuart. There's a long, long kick from Andy Gregory. Lee Penny in possession. Sets off central. Tackle James Lowe's, ex Hunslet player. There's Greg Mackey. There's Paul Cullen. Feeds on. That's Tony Thornley underneath Iro and Mercer. There's Mark Foster scooting away from acting half. Tackled two metres short of the half. Dwayne Mann acting half. Neil Harmon. Ball is in the leads half then. Quick score here for the wire. Would give us a pulsating finish, I'm sure of that. There's Greg Mackey. Greg chips the ball through. Mackey's off on the chase. Ends up in the possession of Scottish fullback Alan Tate. Wearing one. Next witness. Leads in possession in their own quarter. People are stood still when they're receiving the ball. Big defence coming in from the wire. Dwayne Mann on the tackle on that occasion is that man Hanley. Hammered by Bob Jackson at the quarter. Waddington's tackling, looking face again. There's Andy Gregory. Super tackling from the wire once again. Kelly Shelford on that occasion. Ball is central, it's Mercer. Mercer pops up a super pass. Possession for the wire then. 30 metres out, set of six to ensue. That's Jackson, that's Lee Penny. Penny runs central, picks up three metres running. Big effort from him. Ellis acting half, it's Gary Sanderson. Sanderson goes, three metres inside the Leeds quarter then. Warrington have personnel set deep, Mackey, cuts back, feeds inside, that's Chris Rudd, try scorer at the end of the first half, tackles being got through quickly once again, there's Harmon, going central, Harmon tackled by number 10 Mike O'Neill, there's Mackey, there's Ellis, there's Cullen, Cullen put away, Interfered with after the tackle. Pass Paul Derbyshire on the field wearing 14. Not sure who far. So, oh, there's a knock on once again within the Warrington quarter. I believe it's Tony Thornley that's left the park. Elementary knock on there, Stuart. Leeds don't need to commit errors like that. No, that was a bad mistake to make there, passing in their own quarter there. Andy Gregory just trying to turn the ball inside. That's the style of football that Leeds play when they're on top. Well, perhaps for being a bit harsh, criticising the team for trying to stay on the attack. However, scrum to the wire. What it's impressing hard. Kevin Ellis held up by Gary Schofield and Ellery Hanley. What it's impressing hard. Ball has been forgotten. So it's possession for Leeds then, 11 metres out from their own line. Penalty's been awarded. Not sure what for. Things are getting uh, a bit excitable amongst the forwards. We have the Leeds physio on the park, not sure who's had a knock. Paul Cullen's getting a ticking off. I'll pass the mic across to Stuart Duffy to sum up what's gone on there for you. It's looked like Paul Cullen went in with the knees there on Gary Schofield. I think that uh, Warrington a bit disappointed with losing possession in such a good place. And Cullen just been a little bit over ambitious there in his tackle. Thanks, Stuart. Well, Paul Cullen's an 11-year professional now. 
any tricks in the game, he knows them. However, Schofield being attended to, doesn't look to be in good shape from here. We're in the fourth minute of the second half. Warrington, of course, desperately seeking a quick score. Schofield does not look to be enjoying himself at all. Atkin has stopped the clock, match official. That's Gareth Stevenson running about on the park, getting a quick one. Schofield's, re <laughs> Schofield's recovered then. Took a big knock in the tackle. Happily, he's OK. Able to resume. Well, we had a bit of uh, unrest there after that tackle. Let's hope our match official can get on top of the job. Don't want the game spoiling. Ball goes into touch, 26 metres away from the Leeds line. There's the runners. It's O'Neill. Well tackled by Harmon and Jackson. Lowe's acting half. Steve Malloy on the run. Hammered immediately. It's Gregory. Feeds on for Mercer. Big shouts for the forward pass. Here's Gregory again at the hub of everything, unloads for Alan Tate, Tate hammered, super tackle Greg Mackey, that's Iro, that's Gregory, that's Iro, Iro hammered, tackles being got through quickly again, not much ground being picked up, Gregory will lift one, lifts it straight out of play, that will be a turnover, four metres short of the half for the wire then, Set of six coming up. Still looking for a score in the second half. Here's Neil Harmon. Harmon met by a three-man tackle involving Lowe's, Hanley and Anderson. That's Gary Sanderson at the half. There's Dwayne Mann. Bob Jackson attacking the leads forwards. Ball's lost in the tackle. Gregory has possession. Crosses the half. So plenty of action, plenty of mistakes at this point. Once again, things are threatening to get out of hand. Dave Atkin has awarded a penalty. Rare penalty, I think that's one of the reasons why the game's been so exciting. Wind whipping into Wilderspill from our right-hand side now. Kick for touch. Schofield puts the ball away safely. James Lowe's wearing nine, will restart proceedings. There's Gregory, there's Jim Fallon, ex-Bath Rugby Union player. Lowe's acting half, Steve Malloy, hammered immediately. Brilliant tackle, Bob Jackson. Runners all over the place for the Leeds club. Snappy tackling from the Warrington club. Eight minutes of the second half played. There's Schofield, looking for Iro, goes alone. Wellington's defence up to the job. Well, a penalty has been awarded there to the Warrington club. Everybody's on the feet around your commentator. All I can see is a few duffel coats. I'll pass the ball over to Stuart Duffer, uh, the mic over to Stuart Duffer. Yes, Gary Schofield penalised there for playing the ball to himself when he had a marker bill. And uh, I couldn't argue too much with that. Well, thanks for Stuart there, clearing up that mystery for us. The Dwayne Mann restarts proceedings. We have Bob Jackson in possession. Tackled by James Lowes. And Steve Malloy. There's Neil Harmon. Charging midfield. Tackled by O'Neill and Hanley. That's Dwayne Mann. Gary Sanderson. Dwayne Mann acting half. Here's Greg Mackey. Mackey's going. Feeds Shelford. Shelford busting tacklers, Hanley puts him away. Dwayne Mann acting half again. There's Paul Cullen for you. Head down, charging central. Tackled by Hanley and Mercer. There's Shelford, chips the defence. It's an anywhere ball. Atkin has blown up. Awards are scrum down. Not sure who we will give the advantage to. There's Anderson midfield. Warrington definitely looking two yards quicker on defence. 
Mike O'Neill charging out, breaks the quarter. Lee Penny involved in the tackle. Tense moments then here at Wilderspool Stadium. Gary Mercer well put away there by Gary Sanderson. Players feigning all sorts of things to try and come penalties out of the uh, match official. He's having none of it. 100 mile an hour rugby league being played for you on your screens. It's kick time. Leeds now, of course, kicking into the wind. Will make things difficult. Lee Penny gathers the ball 10 metres from his own line. Looks at Hanley, says bye-bye. Feeds on. It's Mark Foster. Foster tackled by Jim Fallon wearing two. There's Derbyshire. Big tackle upon him. There's Cullen. Cullen charging central, picking up big yards. Plays the ball. There's Mackey. Oh, ball touched by a Leeds player. It's another six. Bit of uh, fortune there for the home team, the wire. However, there's Mackey. Mackey darts in midfield. Delayed at the play of ball. Match officials having none of it again. There's Neil Harmon. Looks to unload and able to do so. Hanley on the tackle, assisted by Steve Malloy. So it's Mann, it's Shelford. Tackles ticking by again. Waddington must work a running move of some sort. There's Mackey feeding inside. There's Lee Penny. Kevin Ellis. Alan Bateman's got his head back. He's going. There's Chris Rudd. Super tackle upon Rudd from Fallon. Exciting rugby league again. Big round of applause from the Warrington fans. 11 metres. Last tackle. Need a kick of some sort. Well, Dave Atkin has blown his whistle. Will give us a turnover. Warrington trying every trick in the book, Stuart, to keep the move alive. Yes, yeah, very impressed with Warrington this second half. They've come out really fired up. They're putting Leeds under all sorts of pressure. Leeds struggling to get out of their own quarter, Bill. And if uh, Warrington keep this up, I'm sure the Leeds defence is going to break. Well, there's the words of Stuart Duffy. This is the uh, period of the game where the points will be decided. Ball's at the quarter. Jackson again, exemplary tackle. James Lowe's caught in possession. Gregory throws left. It's with Mike O'Neill. Harmon in the tackle. <coughs> Sanderson in the tackle. Ball will come our way this time. So does. It's with Gary Schofield. Schofield hammered. It's kick time for the Loiners. Gregory lifts one. Mark Foster in position. Takes possession safely. No knock on committed there. Fallon on the tackle then. There's Paul Derbyshire picking up big yards, running. Well, I cannot for the life of me understand why our match official did not shout hell there. He seemed to be waiting for the player to be bundled in the touch. Any comment there, Stuart? Well, yes, I think the thing was he was on his feet until almost sort of six inches or so from the line and Eleni just made the final tug on the shirt. Well, there's a word to Stuart Duffy from the Leeds club, I'm from the Waddington club, match officials wrong. However, the game goes on. Gregory will feed, eventually. Scrum to the visitors then. There's Schofield. There's Craig Innes. There's Iro. Iro's going. Iro feeds inside for Schofield. Ball is midfield, Leeds have possession. Another try and a goal for Leeds should settle things. However, there's Ellery Hanley. Leeds pressing once again. Their first real pressure of the second half, it's Andy Gregory. There's Anderson wearing 15. Paul Anderson well tackled. Ball's at the quarter, O'Neill throws left for Gregory. Gregory hasn't got a clue what to do on that occasion. Options disappearing for him. Leeds pressing hard then. 14 minutes played of the second half. Schofield throws a sharp ball. Try line is begging. Well, a try is awarded by the uh, match official. What's a close thing from here. I'll hand over the mic for Stuart Duffy to describe the action fire. 
Well, Gary Schofield just dummying and going himself there, taking the ball. Short ball for Steve Malloy, who powered his way over there. A bit of feeble tackling. Two men had him on the line, and according to the match official who's nearer than we are, Bill, he managed to ground the ball, although it certainly looks up from up here as he was held on his back. So that's uh, what leads further in front now, and uh, Waddington will be disappointed with that after all the effort they've put in. Is successful, so that gives us a 16 point advantage for the Lioners. So there's a restart for you, score reading Warrington 8 leads 24, Mike O'Neill in possession wearing 10, Hammered in the tackle, Bob Jackson. Jackson on the tackle once again, assisted by Dwayne Mann. There's Gregory throwing left. Dwayne Mann involved in the tackle. There's Lowe's at acting half. Andy Gregory switch move. Ellery Hanley. Warrington up quickly on defence. Hanley nowhere to go. Finds himself hammered by Cullen and Jackson and Derbyshire. Here we have Steve Malloy at the half. Sanderson on the tackle. Big vocals now for the visitors from Yorkshire, the Leeds club. Gregory kicks. With a bagatelle breaks out. Mark Foster comes up in possession. That ball could have gone anywhere. Foster plays the ball for uh, Greg Mackey. There's Lee Penny. Score reading Warrington 8. Leads 24. Kevin Ellis. Essential for the Warrington club that they get six points back immediately. There's Alan Bateman. Surging onto the ball. Mackey's organising his troops. The penalty has been awarded to the Warrington Club. A rare penalty. The Warrington will look to put the ball into touch deep in the Leeds quarter. Rudd kicks for touch. Still got 22 minutes left here at uh, Wildersville. 16 points between the teams. Everything still to play for. Tap restart on the quarter. Bob Jackson in possession. Ball has gone short side. There's a ball released. Big tackle 10 metres from the uh, Leeds try line then. Here's Mackey. Here's Ellis. Ellis keeps hold of possession. Warrington pressing hard once again. It's Greg Mackey. Throws inside. Super defence from the Leeds club. Good attack from the Warrington club. Ball will go for Mackey. There's Paul Derbyshire. Derbyshire well held. Seven metres from the Leeds line. Lee Penny acting half. Here's Greg Mackey. Somebody needs to put a kick in. It's Kevin Ellis. There's a run midfield. And the Warrington player crashes his under the post. Well, I thought the game was dead and buried. Super retort there from the Warrington club. Alan Bateman has scored a try under the post. I'll pass across once again for Stuart Duffy to describe the try fire. Yes, Greg Mackey switching player back in the inside there and leads just short of numbers. Alan Bateman suddenly found himself with a gap a mile wide there and uh, strode over in front of the post. A gap up. Try to reminisce Nivell and Ellis in the first half there, Bill. Just a big gap opened right under the post. He should make the conversion a formality. Warrington right back in the game. Well, there you have it. Chris Rudd, further two points. Gives us a score presently. Warrington 14, leads 24. Well, everybody's getting excited here in the back of the Brian Bevin stand. Still 20 minutes to go. Anything can happen. 60 of 80 minutes played. Tries for the wire so far from Jackson, Rudd and Bateman. Tries for leads from Innes, Schofield, Hanley. Seven tries have been put on show for you on this Micron video. Best of British Rugby League being played. 
have the restart at the half then. Schofield will kick. Long high kick deep into the Warrington quarter. Mackey completes the job. Here's Gary Sanderson. Big tackle central. Once again, it's 14 24. The score reads. There's Neil Armin. He's going. Feeds outside. Cullen takes the pass. Goes infield away from uh, the touch line. That's Dwayne Mann. That's Kevin Ellis. Ellis checking on the forwards, dragging him with him. Plays the ball for Mann. It's Mackey. It's Kelly Shelford. It's Alan Bateman. Chris Rudd has the ball. Oh, well, ball finally goes into touch. Will result in a scrum down advantage to somebody. Don't know who. It's advantage to the visitors. Well, there was 10 points between the teams at half time. 10 points once again. Still 20 minutes to be played. There's another scrum to the visitors. There's Schofield. Big defence from the wires there. Bateman on the tackle. Ball's coming our way. Looking for Kevin Iro. Ball's thrown over Kevin Iro in the possession of Jim Fallon. Hammered right in front of our commentary position by Derbyshire and Forster. There's, Gary, there's uh, Schofield throwing on. It's with Andy Gregory. It's with Mike O'Neill. There's a juggle pass. Super tackle. Far side of the field, Chris Rudd. Once again, the ball's coming our way. It's with Andy Gregory. Gregory looking for the option. Everybody's static around Gregory on that occasion. However, ball goes into the Warrington half. Cold wind blowing into Wilderspill, away from our right. There's Alan Tate cropping up in the line. The flying Scotsman hammered. Tate took a big hit there. Ignores it, plays the ball. There's a Gary Schofield bomb. Well, I do not agree with our referee's decision there, and that's coming from uh, a bloke who watches all the Warrington games. I'll pass the microphone on to Stuart Duff, or he'll try and control himself and describe that decision. And well, he's given a penalty there for knocking uh, Kevin Ellis out of the way. But uh, that was a perfectly good try. Ellen Hanley was miles on side when, he, when that kicked there. And that's, uh, Leeds will be very disappointed with that. Well, I agree with every word you said there, Stuart. However, the game's going on. That's rugby league fire. Here's Neil Harmon. Ten metres short of the half. Score still 14-24. That's Mackey. That's Ellis. That's a try. That is definitely a try. Well, Warrington trying to keep the attacking football going there. Schofield popped up in the right place, took the ball. Well, what can you say? Well, always sniffing there, the archetypal tri poacher, Gary Schofield. He hasn't done that for a long time, but I'll tell you, that's probably the first time this season he's gone for the interception. And uh, that should really have put the game out of the way as far as Warrington are concerned now. So Leeds looking to put 30 points on the board here. And... Uh, Gary Schofield going to take the kick, Simon Irving just having a little attention there from the physio. Nine tries now for you at Wildersville Stadium, what more can you ask? Schofield puts the two points on as well. A big round of applause here for Bob Jackson coming for the rest. Gary T's back on. Score now reading Warrington 14, Leeds 30. Everybody picks up the papers in the morning. It looked like a hammering. Definitely has not been so. However, Andy Gregory in possession, hammered by Dwayne Mann. Lead supporters away to our right. Delirious under the Fletcher end. There's Gary Mercer, tackle central. 30 points to 14 in favour of the Liners then. Still got 15 minutes left there at Wilderspill. Plenty of time for the score to take on a completely different complexion. Leeds moving the ball quickly. Here's Gregory. Here's Hanley. Here's Jim Fallon. Here's Kevin Iro. Iro shaking off defenders. Try saving tackle there from Lee Penny. 
Super tackle there from Lee Penny. Definitely saved the try. Tries for Leeds up to now have come from Innes. Two from Schofield, Hanley and Malloy. Tries from Warrington for Jackson Rudd, Bateman. There's a scrum down. Mackey takes possession. Matt Foster running across the Leeds uh, defence. Warrington moving the ball right, it's with Paul Cullen. Ball's coming our way, Greg Mackey. Long ball, it's Paul Derbyshire. Derbyshire looking for help. Well tackled by James Lowes, ex Hunslet hooker. It's Greg Mackey, it's Gary Sanderson. The grubber pass thrown there. <coughs> Knock on is committed. Knock on is committed. Match official on top of the job awards a scrum down advantage to, I believe it should go to Leeds. So it has. Well, Stuart, you've waited a long time for your first away win. This is as good a place as any to do it. Yes, it is. This is one of the most difficult places in rugby league to come. And Leeds have uh, played pretty well tonight. Just had a little lax period there at the beginning of the second half. But that interception try from Gary Schofield, that knocked the stuffing out of any side, Bill. Well, here come Leeds again. You say Leeds have played pretty well. I would say they've been outstanding because Warrington haven't played bad. Finding themselves 16 points behind. However, there's Jim Fallon tackled by Kevin Ellis. 67th of 80 minutes played now. There's James Lowes. Getting bashed about midfield. There's Gregory. Big ball thrown there. Hanley crops up in support. Hanley on the uh, charge there. Pulled down four metres from the wire line. That's Schofield in possession. Bit of basketball played. Wanting to come up with possession. There's Greg Mackey. There's Shelford. Kelly Shelford was going. Ido on the tackle, two Kiwis together there. Here's Sanderson. Shelford once again. Shelford goes alone. Shelford ankle taps on the halfway line. Releases for Ellis, who is promptly hammered by Ellery Handler. Iro comes up. There's Mike O'Neill. There's Gary Mercer feeding on. There's a knock on. Quite rightly awarded by match official. However, Warrington in possession is Ellis, is Bateman. Big hit upon Bateman in the tackle. Here's Gary Sanderson. Releases Lee Penny. Penny dies in field, avoids touch. Dwayne Mann, Paul Cullen. James Lowe's on the tackle, assisted by Mike O'Neill. Dwayne Mann once again, Greg Mackey. Misses out Tease. Wanted to move in the ball well again. That's Alan Bateman. Well, there's a double uh, mistake there. Results in Neil Harmon rampaging midfield. Warrington trying every trick in the book, keeping the moves alive. That's Paul Derbyshire picking up good metres on the run. Round of applause from the Warrington fans. At long last getting chance to warm hands up. There's Dwayne Mann, Neil Harmon. Harmon makes the quarter. 44 points have been scored this far in. It's Gary Tees looking for support, none forthcoming. Warrington then in the red zone, leads danger zone. There's Alan Bateman, he's going. He fails, one metre short, super tackle from Paul Anderson. Seems to have had a 15 tackle drive here from the Warrington club, however. Ball's coming our way. It's kick time now. Kick comes in. Paul Derbyshire takes possession. Will result in a turnover. At last, some concerted pressure from the Warrington Club there, Stuart. It's clever play there again from Greg Mackey. And uh, lovely, clever little chip there. I think the wrong option taken there when um, the, the uh, fullback tried to go from acting half back and Warrington have been better trying to get the forwards running. But that's enterprising play again, and they must be very disappointed. They've played really well and contributed to a fine game. Well, there's the words of Stuart Duffy. Warrington, of course, had a big win in midweek after a disastrous run. Losing here at Wilder Spill tonight. Discipline has been first class. Effort has, effort has been first class. Still trying now, still a few minutes to go. 
Nine minutes left on my watch. Time for a few more points. There's Kevin Ellis running about midfield. Big effort from him. Tate on the tackle. Ball's coming our way. It's Kelly Shelford. Shelford hauled down once again. Four metres short. Runners everywhere. Cullen goes. Great try for Paul Cullen. Well, we've just been talking here, me and Stuart, about Warrington have been a credit and contributed well. There's a try from long-serving loose forward. Paul Cullen, I'll let Stuart Duffy describe it for you. Yes, yes, which made Leeds have uh, had some bad vibes this season, close to the line. And uh, that was a typical try bit that's been scored against them. Uh, Salford scored two on um, New Year's Day. And uh, Warrington have managed another one there. That's uh, from close into the line. Lovely move there. And Paul Cullen just taking the ball on the burst and forcing his way over. Well, that makes a score. Unbelievable score. Warrington 20, Leeds 30. 50 points. What more can you ask? If you've never been to a game of rugby league, this is the first time you've seen it. You can see games like this all over the north of England now. Get out on a Sunday afternoon and support your local team. That's a message from Wildersville. Once again, it seems to have been ten points between the teams all the way through this game. And we still have seven minutes to play. So there's still seven minutes to play here at Wildersfield, ten points of difference. Fifty points have been scored in this superb Stones Bitter Championship game. Here's Lee Penny. Gets shot of Andy Gregory, no problem. Kevin Iroh completes the job. It's Paul Derbyshire. You'll not see many better rugby league matches this season, I can assure you of that. Both these teams have played open, entertaining rugby. Discipline has been first class. Officiating has been first class as well, which has helped. The one into the attacking midfield. There's Bateman, ankle tapped. Mercer completes the job. Mackey, Ellis, Sanderson, ball breaks the half. Hanley and Schofield on the tackle. There's Mann throwing right. Ellis chips. Kicks into the pocket, splits the fullback and the winger. Ball rolls into touch. Well, we've got a few minutes left now, Stuart. I'd just like you, I'll name a man of the match for Leeds in a moment. If you could look through the Warrington players, pick your outstanding player. For me, for Leeds tonight, he's not uh, scored any tries or anything, but I've been well impressed with James Lowe's. Work rate has been first class. Who would you pick out from the Warrington team? Well, I'd go along with the uh, wire here. I'd go for Kelly Shelford. He's been involved in most of the good things that Warrington have done. He's looked strong. He's always likely to break the tackle. And when he does, he always gets rid of a good ball. Well, many thanks to my colleague there. So it's Kelly Shelford and James Lowe's for us who will get the commentator's points. However, ball's at the quarter. Warrington have possession. Still time for the wire to, to force a panic finish. It's Paul Cullen. Try scoring here over a moment ago. There's Harmon. Leads up so quickly on defence, it's unbelievable. Dwayne Mann, Gary Tees, head down, tackled by number 15, Paul Anderson. Score reads 30-20. Warrington trying everything. Four metres from the Leeds line then, tackles in hand. Leads up quickly on defence. Mann, half back. A try. Well, what can you say? Dwayne Mann has gone over in the 75th of 80 minutes. Bit of basketball at the play of the ball. What a finishing prospect. Yes, good try then. Dwayne Mann going there. Looks a bit of a suspect try. A kick through. Looks a bit of a suspect knock on. But uh, Warrington, all credit to them for coming back well there. That's tremendous play. And he won't mess about with the kick here, won't Rudd. And this has really put a different complexion on the game. Well, what a game here at Wildersville Stadium, what more can you ask? So priceless, two points to be attempted, it's Chris Rudd, it's two points. Correction, it's not two points. Well, I don't know about you, Stuart, but I'd settle for a draw. Yes, it would probably be a fair result. Leeds started off well and Warrington have come back tremendous. I thought they would have tired after their efforts in midweek, but they've been a credit to the club. Well, what can you say? There's the comments of the Leeds commentator for you. 
once again. We'll have a 25 minute mound in the ground. Pull referee Dave Atkin having none of it, stops the clock on my watch. Well, less than four minutes. It is looking a slim chance of a draw. However, here's Gary Sanderson. Hammered. Waddington need field position. There's a big run midfield. Three man leads tackle involving Mike O'Neill. It's Sanderson, it isn't, it's Macker, it's Ellis. Looks to unleash the centres. Lee Penny does just that. Paul Cullen attacks the half, makes it great style. Kevin Iro and Hanley on the tackle. Here's Kevin Ellis. Time ticking down. Less than three minutes. Less than three minutes at Wildersville Stadium. Six points of difference. There's Mackey, there's Kelly Shelford. Oh, unfortunately, the ball's lost in the tackle. That could decide the outcome of this Stones better game. Less than two minutes then, six points of difference. Leeds looking good value for the first away win. Big credit must be given to the home team. Well, it's O'Neill, breaks the half. Lowes and Shelford have been picked out by uh, the commentators in the box as men of the match. Difficult to leave anybody out after a game like this. Leeds supporters, of course, can make the trip over the Pennines now with grins upon their faces. First away win in the season. Things are also looking good for Brian Johnson's men, even in defeat here at Wildersville. Meanwhile, Hanley and Lowes for Iro. Iro's going, strong, huge centre that he is. Wanting to take possession. Well, well, I'll hand the cross to Stuart Nuffy to describe that decision for you. Yeah, so the, the ball pulled out of Kevin Iredo's arms there, and the touch should right at the side there, signal to the referee who was trying to get the men back on side, but it was definitely a penalty, that Bill. Well, I'm not arguing. Of course, now we'll get a three and a half hour touch kick. No, he's, Schofield's got on with it. <laughs> scrums have gone 11 10 at this point to the Warrington Club. Penalties for all. Only eight penalties in 80 minutes of rugby league. That's the way to fill rugby league grounds in this uh, modern economic climate. However, there's a big run from Paul Dixon. Less than one minute of normal time remains. There's Andy Gregory running across the Warrington defence. Huge tackle on the far side of the field. Alan Bateman, I believe, on the job. Match official trots across, makes sure there's no uh, unsocial event breaks out. Ball's coming inside. Gregory? Well, the first thing Warrington need at this point is possession. Drop goal. Sensible. It's guess who? Gary Schofield is the correct thing. Drops over the drop goal, which now takes the uh, game out beyond the full score for the Leeds club. And Stewart, Leeds have earned the hard way, their first away win of the season. They have, I think they started off like on house on fire, and then the nerves started to creep in, and the jitters, which they've had a few times this season. And uh, But that drop goal there uh, was so obvious, and Warrington did nothing at all to close Gary Schofield down. He's a master, I remember him dropping a goal here at the back end of last season, which uh, drew the match. Well, he's just dropped one that's won the match. However, what an exciting, entertaining performance on the part from both sets of players. There's Andy Gregory feeding Dixon. Ball's in midfield then. Half a minute into injury time on my watch. Leeds attacking central. Ball still in midfield then. We've had 10 tries in this game here at Wildersville Stadium. It's kick time for the uh, visitors. Leeds. Schofield lifts one. There's uh, Warrington attacking again central. Everybody waiting for the hooter now then. One minute injury time played. There's Lee Penny. There's Mark Forster. Well met in the tackle. There's the final hooter. 
Well, Stuart Duffy next to me leaps three foot off his chair. We've had ten tries. Tries for Warrington from Jackson, Rudd, Bateman, Cullen and Mann. Tries for Leeds from Innes, two from Schofield, Hanley and Malloy. Leeds have finally earned an away win. Bit of a disappointment for the Warrington club. Man next to me, well chuffed with that away win, Stuart. Yes, absolutely delighted. It's been a long time coming, that. And I'm sure it's not as it's too close for comfort as far as Leeds are concerned. But they'll be delighted just to get the two points. A great game of football. Some tremendous play on both sides. Some great open football on a cold, blustery night. Ideal for rugby league. Great play. And Leeds just going over and saluting the crowd there. Over under that uh, Fletcher Street, that's called the House of Pain, I believe, here at Warrington. Well, uh, they've certainly had some tonight, and it's mainly filled up with Leeds supporters. So, very pleased for Leeds, and disappointed for Warrington. A good win in midweek for them, probably felt the effects, uh, but they never stopped trying. Credit to the club and a credit to the game. Well, I will thank personally Stuart Duffy. I will thank personally Stuart Duffy for those words. There's the Warrington fans, of course. Going to the railway end, away to our left. Grateful for the big vocals we've received through the game. Warrington su supporters being applauded by the Warrington players. Well, what more can you ask? They've put in a massive effort. They've come out on the losing side tonight. Good luck to them. They've played really well. This is Bill Stewartson then, signing off from Wilderspill Stadium on behalf of Micron Video Services.